Good afternoon, friends. So today we are going to be sharing our Mother's Day with you guys. It's going to be little snippets here and there. Like, this is all I got of John's pineapple upside down cake. I don't know why. I just forgot to finish recording. I think Jonathan had Kim. Jonathan and Kim had got over here this evening and then, um, yeah, that was it. And then me and Kim was just standing in the kitchen. And so I forgot to record it, but I'll include a little picture of it for you so you can see how it looked. Um, nothing fancy, but it was delicious. At first, when I put it in the pan, I was like, maybe this is a little too moist. But, y'all, it was absolutely the best pineapple upside down cake. It was so, so good. Um, and the only thing I did is I added extra butter to the bottom of the pan with, you know, brown sugar. And then for the bottom layer, because I doubled up the layers for the cake, um, the bottom layer, I filled in all the little gaps with little, like, bite size. I think they're called tidbits of pineapple. It was delicious. Like, thinking about it right now, I really want some more. But it's all gone so sad it was really good uh but anyways yeah that was the day before and then this was the morning of before we ran to the store we had to go run out and grab a couple of things and i had a little bit with me I had my little pumpkin so you'll see in a minute that i have um she gets fussy and i have to go get her and then i do as much as i can holding her but then it doesn't work out too well um some things you need two hands for and i didn't I should have just put on my wrap um, and wore her, which I did. Is this? I did at some point, but I guess I didn't record that. When would I have used the wrap? Maybe I don't know. Oh, it wasn't during this time. It was it was during something else. I don't know. But anyways, um, this I will have the recipes for the cheesecake salad, which is what this is here as well as the homemade macaroni and cheese that was spoiler alert but it was absolutely delicious it tasted very similar to the baked macaroni and cheese that i usually make but i think it was actually better and it was much easier less steps i did let it overcook a little bit because i tried to turn it on low and ended up i mean tried to turn it on warm and i ended up turning it on high and thankfully, Kim caught it in time, and she turned it down to warm for me. But it had dried out just a little bit more than I was hoping it to be to dry out. However, it was delicious. We would probably stick with this crockpot macaroni and cheese recipe for a little bit. Anyways, the recipe for the macaroni and cheese and this cheesecake salad will be linked down below. The original recipes. I stuck with the macaroni and cheese recipe pretty close to the recipe. Um, but for the, we're sitting on the porch and it's raining. Give me a minute. For the strawberry banana cheesecake salad, because that's the mouthful of a name that this recipe has. Um, I left out the bananas because I wanted Lily to be able to try it and enjoy it. And she doesn't, like, she loves banana flavored things, but she doesn't like bananas. But ends up, she doesn't like the texture of bananas. Anyways, you don't care. That's not the point. I left out the bananas for her. We had bananas though, and when we ate it, everybody that likes bananas we just chopped up some bananas like a little bed of bananas and then put the other on top it was really good it it kim said it tasted just like yogurt with um like a lot yogurt with fruit in it and it did like the yogurt flavor did come through i was a little worried about that and i thought about not putting as much into it but i was just like you know what yogurt's good um however i think if i make it again I might pull back on the yogurt because it just feels like, I don't know. It, Kim said it felt more like a breakfast food because of the yogurt. And I understand that because, you know, people people usually think of yogurt as a breakfast food. To, to me, it's a snack. But, you know, a lot of people do think of it as a breakfast food. So, anyways, it tasted good. I'll link the recipe down below. This makes a huge amount huge amount and it's not something that really keeps well so unless you're going to a family gathering you might want to pull back on it and maybe do half of the recipe i was also a little scared of the marshmallows you see the little baby foots um i was a little scared of the marshmallows but however i do think it i don't know i just think the texture is good once they like soften up a little bit in there anyways we're doing some one-handed mess here and dropping strawberries in the floor which is fine because the vacuum also known as clovis was around and she helped us clean those up and whatnot but yeah we realized real quick that we couldn't do that so we put down the princess and then we got back to work and then we picked her back up because that's how we roll around here but anyways yeah um, i just wanted to share our mother's day 
I kind of lost my wind after we ran the errands and got home and then just I don't know I felt a little bit overwhelmed for no reason whatsoever and that's just how life works so I almost didn't record anymore and just throw out what I got and I was like you know what you told your friends that lord willing and motivated you would share mother's day and even though your motivation ain't there you told them you might so you're gonna do it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna share it nothing like super you will you'll see it's just typical life um, because that's what we share around here and show real life and show that th this, we're real people. So, anyways. I was counting my blessings. I felt beaten down. I was looking for a calling, felt lonely in a crowd I was searching for the answers, too blind to see the signs He was always by my side He shed his light and peace Still be a little while. We got home and I started some crock pot macaroni and cheese. It's supposed to take two hours on low, so I'm hoping it can take an hour and a half on high so I can get it done because I didn't want to have it overcooked and we had to run out to the store and grab a few things this morning. So it is what it is. Um, I got it in the 
crock pot now. I got a timer set. I'll go do do the business at 45 minutes, but we're going to cook on the grill and I'm going to make smash burgers and butter chicken on the grill and then the crock pot macaroni and cheese. I made two desserts, which I think I shared some of each. I got distracted on the pineapple upside down cake yesterday and didn't share much of it. Um, so yeah, we got a pineapple upside down cake and then the chop, the strawberry cheesecake salad. It's supposed to be strawberry banana, but I didn't put bananas in it because Lily doesn't really like bananas and I wanted her to be able to be able to enjoy it as well. So when I eat some, I'll probably just cut up a banana and add it to it. Anyways, I'm just sitting out here relaxing for a minute on the porch. Um, the other porches are in the sun, so I come up here to our little porch by our bedroom. Anyways, yeah, I thought about not recording today because it's just not really doing anything and there's not really much to share, but then I thought I would share. It's Kim's first Mother's Day and even though I don't like talking to the camera around her or anything, um, but it's Kim's first Mother's Day, and I'll show you Violet in a little bit. She's precious. I bought her a cute little outfit to surprise Mama. So, anyways.
and there is Kim helping me with the macaroni and cheese. Um, for the chicken, I made like a homemade garlic butter. The butter was just store-bought. I didn't make the butter. You can make the butter. It's super easy, but I got some butter and softened it, and then I added some fresh garlic, some parsley, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and maybe that was it. Did I say minced garlic? Anyways, just mix it all together, and then I put it in my little butter crock and put it back in the refrigerator. I made it on Thursday just because I was thinking about it and knew what I wanted to make for dinner. So, I put the little crock in the refrigerator after I made it and, you know, just let it sit in there and marry until Sunday. And then that is what I used to, you know, mainly season the chicken with. And it was delicious. It was a really good chicken. Some of the best, probably. Maybe I just, it was a new experience um, with using the Blackstone. I have been wanting a Blackstone for years now. Um, and just could not take the plunge because they're, you know, they're kind of pricey. I'm not always cheap, but I'm like selectively cheap. And it's just one of those things that I am cheap with. Like I just couldn't fathom spending um, $300, which is what the one that we bought cost. I couldn't fathom spending $300 on a grill, especially when we have the, whatever, the fire pit that we can grill on. But I decided that, you know, I've been wanting one forever. We have so much going on this summer and so many plans for the yard and whatnot that I just needed it to, I needed to add it to our oasis. So it is what I bought us for John's birthday slash Mother's Day. I figured it would, you know, ease the blow if I used both of those reasons. Now, John will never cook on this, but, you know, he eats the food, so it counts for something. Um, but, yeah, we was excited, and by we, I mean me, because John could not care less. Um, I was excited to get to use it this day, and we've used it multiple times since then because I'm super slow and not editing this video um, quickly, and I'm really liking it. I can actually light it by myself, which was a concern for me because y'all know if you've been around here like gas and fire and stuff like that, it creeps me out. But we can manage with the Blackstone, so I'm pretty happy about that. So if you have one, let me know what your favorite thing to do on them is because obviously I'm going to be cooking a lot on it. Um, hopefully the gas lasts a long time. I'm not sure how long a tank of propane is supposed to last on it. Hopefully it lasts a while. It was only $18 to fill it up, but you know, it's $18 <laughs> and the whole task of having to take it and get it filled up and whatnot. So anyways, if you have one, let me know what your favorite things to cook on it is and how long the gas typically lasts for you. This is the four burner one because I needed one that would feed us all. That is one thing about the, the fire pit that we have. Like it feeds us all, but we have to fill it to the brim in order to cook what we want to. Now, obviously if we want grilled burgers, like grilled burgers, we'll still use the fire pit because this is just an outdoor griddle and we know that, but I we're excited about it nonetheless. So let me know down below if you have one, what your favorite things to cook on it is and typically how long a tank of gas lasts you, just cause I'm curious now since I brought it up. Also, any like seasoning tips and cleaning tips and all that because we're a little bit clueless over here. Just a, just a little bit, just a lot, but we're making it work. And I know it's one of those things I'll just learn as I go, but let me know down below some of your favorite cleaning tips and seasoning tips and all of that because like I said, we're very new. And um, the second time I used it, I was kind of shocked when I went out because even though I'd done what I was supposed to, well, that was the third time, so maybe I didn't do exactly what I was supposed to, but it looked a little rusty, even though it, sh I guess it shouldn't have been. I don't know. Like I said, I'm new to all this, so just let me know any tips, any at all, down below. Even if it's not one of the categories I mentioned, if you have a tip about a Blackstone, let me know. Love you and appreciate you. Okay, bye. Just kidding. I want to share this butter. Now, it was really good. It lasted um, even more than this chicken. What did that mean? There was more than I needed for this day. Um, I made sure not to touch the chicken. Okay, so calm down in case you thought I was doing that. Because I'm not. I'm flicking it off here using my finger. Because um, I don't want to touch the raw chicken with it. And then just stick it back in the little crock thing. But um, but on two different occasions, I made hamburger steak. And then I made just steak steak for John one night. Because the rest of us had chicken tenders. And he'll eat them. But he would rather have something else. So I typically will make him something else if I have it. Or it's thawed out. Or it's, you know, I can do that. Anyways, 
Um, when I made hamburger steaks and made his steak, I used this garlic butter on top. And it just seems like it makes stuff so much better. Like, I didn't even eat the steak, but it just looked so much better with this butter on top of it. Um, I will try to remember and just quickly throw up the, how I made it. Super simple anyways. Um, but I think I wrote it down so I can share that with you. And if I do, just forgive my terrible handwriting. Especially if it's just something that I have written down for myself and don't plan to share. It's even worse. There's no thought put into it. And I just, you know, scribble stuff down. But anyways, it was good. This was a good day. I'm pretty sure I'll show you all the food. And then I just like abruptly stop after it. Because... Like I said, I just got, it wasn't a bad day in any possible way. It was a really good day, but I just got a little, I guess, overwhelmed and just lost motivation. So we just, after we ate dinner, we just spent the rest of the evening just spending time with the kiddos and, and soaking it in because on Sundays, um, after Sunday, we don't see them again until typically Friday, especially if it's, um, you know, something doesn't come up and whatnot. So Typically, we don't see them again until Friday, so Sunday evening, I just try to soak it all in and get my week's worth of loving and time with them, especially with Violet. Um, I love Jonathan and Kim to death, uh, obviously, as well, but y'all know the babies grow so fast, and we could not see her in five days, and she could change and have, um, you know, doing different things by the time that we see her now. So we just soak it all in. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We love y'all. We'll see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends. Bye.